sickness, enemy of rest. You have, you have built all houses everywhere. Just at, about where you are about to rest, they took your eyes. Then you are living in a war where you can't see anything, but you can hear enemy of rest. You don't understand me. We call it the sickness of the Egyptians. Elijah, very anointed, raised dead body back to life. His dry bone brought another dead body, but he died of sickness. Enemy of rest. Enemy of rest. John the Baptist, after all that he has done, after advertising Jesus, hear him, the beloved of the Lord, when it is time for him to step aside and eat his gratuity in ministry, once Lenge Lenge lady does dance and asks the mother, what can I get? The mother said, demand for the head of John the Baptist, that is all. Enemy of rest. That prophet was alive, they chalk up his head. Enemy of rest. Useless people with useless appetite. She does dance Marcosa. And after dancing it, they ask her, what is the, what is the price for this beautiful dance? She says, the head of a prophet I need. That was all. There are people that are using their celebration to affect you a child of destiny. Enemy of rest. Marco Sipara. I don't know who is fighting you. I don't know in what area they have fought you. But today, wherever they are, wherever they have been assembled, may they die. Number what? Number five, sin is another enemy of rest. Let me just give you this. Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed that city was already built by Lot. Everything was okay. Lot was in charge. After God came to destroy that city, and Lot wife turned to pillar of salt. Have you ever heard about Lot again? That was the end of Lot. The Bible was silent about Lot. We only heard that he ran, and his wife turned to pillar of salt, and that was the end of Lot. The Bible never talked. That was the end of his destiny. Meaning he became irrelevant. Can I pray for you? Every sin that we take you away from what you have built all through your life. After, after building, just about the time where Lord could say, this is the time to eat the fruit of my labor. The sin of homosexuality. The sin of gay. The sin of all manner. Chase Lord out of his city. I pray. I pray for you. May your sin not destroy your rest. fire. Another enemy of rest is depression. Depression. Depression deprives you from your expression. Depression is a point where you get to where you feel hopeless and where you feel nothing is possible. Depression is the assistant brother to insanity. Depression is to be sound in mind and gradually begin to lose your sanity. Depression. Whenever a man is depressed, he doesn't see any reason for rest. He sleeps and his sleep is not sleep. He's intertwined with all manner of thoughts. I hear this. This life is too beautiful to allow somebody else to destroy your peace. A man broke your heart and so what? A lady broke your heart. And my brother met me there. A lady, he, she broke my heart. Trained her from, from secondary to university. Now she left me. Started crying like a baby. I said, my brother, calm yourself down. Allah, he said, I will kill her and kill myself. I said, you, 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 are, not, you are not ready to enjoy this life. Depression. There are kind of depression that you have that can 
render you useless. What kind of stupid problem make you cry? Problem that are not called for. Depression. I will kill myself. Oh, why, why do you want to kill yourself? On what ground? Nobody's worth you taking your life. Jesus has taken his life for you. Hear me? When you use your own hand to kill yourself, you will go expressly to hellfire. When you get to heaven and you are reported, it's because of him I killed myself. It's because of how I killed myself. Angel will say, you are useless. You have murdered somebody. Who did you murder? You murdered this person that is standing before you. Depression. There are certain things in life, let them go. If they are not made for you, they will go and not return. If they are made for you, they will come back to you. Don't kill yourself. How do you kill yourself over a man? That is busy sleeping all around and does not know what he calls respect for your dignity as a woman. This thing called love, eh? Sometimes it used to be very blind. There are ladies that fall in love so blindly. A guy was smoking rasta. One kind jar rasta for a rise. When I lie, now they lie. And I fly, now they chop. A lady was crying. I said, I will die. I said, eh? I said, where is the brother? And the brother appeared before me very restless. You hold this side. Say, yeah, man, yeah, man. He said, my guy. I said, don't call me guy. I'm not a guy. So, you hear me? You can, when you go there, you call your, your people your guy. Am I your guy? Which is your guy? He said, thank you. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Then, as he's talking, you know, something is doing coise coise on his head. Because he holds it back. He has taken my rejoin on the eye. Very rare. He said, can I please get water there? I said, get water. As... I saw one big water finish through. You know, after they take marijuana, they take one bag, one full basin of, of gari. I was looking at him and said, Oh, then I asked the lady, I said, Is this the brother? He said, He's the brother. I love him. I said, True, true, you love him. <laughs> There are ladies falling in love with cockroach and crocodile. Oh God. You know, ladies are very emotional. Please, before you carry your heart and drop into a cockroach hand, check the cockroach. There are exalted cockroaches putting on coat and tie, looking like reasonable people. Let them remove the coat and tie. You will see that it is a glorified grasshopper. Somebody shut fire. fire. Shut fire. fire. Shut fire. fire. You like to kill yourself. Why will you kill yourself? Haven't you seen the future? Don't you see the governor ahead of you? Don't you see a potential most rich African man number one coming ahead? How do you allow your job to determine your future? You are 10,000 times greater in your inside than that job. It is created by federal government, but the federal government of the Republic of Heaven holds your life, and your life is in his hands. You're not getting me. Am I talking to somebody here? When man lock the door, God opens another door. If something happened to your job, God is just changing the frequency from Al Jazeera to CNN. God is checking the frequency from CNN to Champions Television. Am I talking to somebody here? He can use any channel to bless you. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything that is impossible for me to do when I am for you? Who then can be against you? That was report. Shall we believe? We shall believe. The report of the Lord. When men are saved, there's a casting now. Just like Gila and his member shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Hey! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Number what? Ask all the enemy. Enemy from your house. 
enemy from your family. Familiar spirits call from your family. They come from your family. Enemy of rest. One person here does come up from the family. All of them are not looking for a way to. Do you know there are people in your family as soon as your head come up, they became restless. They become restless because they feel that it shouldn't be you. David was in the battlefield. When he saw Goliath challenging, he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? The one of the brother and the other one who were army generals, they said, shut up. Do you think this is about catapult and stone? We army commandos that fought all manner of war. We are here. We are afraid of this man. And you a baby, you are talking. What do you know about war strategy? What do you know by strategy of intercontinental ballistic missile? What do you know about launching? What do you know about only AK-47? What do you know? You know nothing. Keep quiet, Mr. Man. David left his brother. Allah, Koba, you don't understand. I might not know how to use AK-47, but I know how to use spiritual bazooka. Shabakata. Pekata. Parakataba. Somebody shot fire. Shot fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot fire. Shot fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might not be loaded physically, but I'm loaded spiritually. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. So the pulling down of stronghold. Sit down. There are enemies from your family that have swum, smaller size you. You can come from the same family, but your engines are different. Am I talking to somebody here? Is somebody hearing what God have just said now? Somebody, every power from your father's side, from your mother's side, either from the same siblings that said you can't go forward, that said you will not rest. Today I lay them to rest. and sisters they see a sister or a brother doing well there are younger sisters that have taken away the husband of elder sister they come and stay in the elder sister house and pretend that they are helping the elder sister just to seduce the husband of the elder sister household enemies you share with them that have, my husband just built the house they are hungry they feel that you are the last born. You shouldn't have what you have. Hear this. Anyone from your bloodline running your destiny down. Today, I step them down. Hear this. I'm not killing them for now. Except they don't repent. That's what we call step down transformer. When the current is so high, you step them down. I bring them to nothing. Ah! Somebody shot fire. Fire. Hear what David said. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver him from them all. You don't understand. When David begins to say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For the Lord is my comfort. He said, I starve and I run. They comfort me. You don't understand. The valley of the shadow of death is to be in the midst of your family. And yet, they want to kill you. You are in their midst. You go to visit your blood brother. He serves you with food, but there is a poison in the food. I don't know who is trying to kill you from your family. I silence them. Sit down. Let me begin to round up now. Now Solomon said in 1 King 5 3, don't you see David, my father? He can build a synagogue for the Lord. He said he have battles all about. Now hear what Solomon said in verse 4. He said, but, can you keep the scripture? He said, but the Lord 
the Lord has given me rest all about. Can you put First Kings 5 4? He said, He said, But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, so that, that there is neither adversity nor evil or current. That, that, that is not a spirit talking, but a human being. He said, The Lord has given me rest all about. He didn't say some about. All. Hey, hey, hey. When I saw this scripture, I discovered that it is very possible to live in this earth. Battles are all over and you are resting. Oh my God. Now, Solomon inherited 69 enemies from his father who are kings. The father fought 69 nations, conquered 69 nations. 69 kings were the sworn enemy of Solomon. By virtue of becoming a king, he inherited the battles of his father. How did he go to that level where none of them, Solomon was the only king that sat on the throne and never used his sword to kill any human being, but he yet had rest all about. Marco Sibarata, Parukete Paratosika, Marco Sibala. He never used his sword. The sword of Solomon. The sword of Solomon never killed anybody. But there was rest. How do you enter or secure the virus? Number one. Wisdom. Come on, say wisdom. When Solomon entered the throne. The first thing he asked God for was wisdom. The first thing Solomon asked God for was what? Wisdom. There are certain battles that can be neglected by wisdom. See, anytime you are always confront, always talking, always fighting, you lack the ingredients of power. Real Powerful people don't talk too much. They act and their act and their approach is systematic. Wisdom. 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 When America was about to deal with Osama Bin Laden, they took time to do a lot of findings. And it was also part of their strategy involved what? Wisdom. They did all manner of confrontation. It didn't work until wisdom was put in place. <laughs> and when they wanted to kill that man, they killed him like a chicken. When wisdom is put in place, the most powerful man can die with apple. I say what? When wisdom is put in place, the most powerful man can die through apple. Wisdom. 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 Wisdom can, he can bring, he can bring, Powerful man that is so powerful can turn him to nothing. Wisdom. That's why you cannot play with the craftiness and the wiseness of a woman. A woman can be rubbing a man's head and be rubbing the stomach until we collect all the secrets of his power called the lila. You will not know. Wisdom. The Philistine tried to fight something. He will just pull a, a gate. Bah, with the jawbone of, a, of an animal, he killed 1,000. Tear down a lion. They now say, we can't fight this man. Whenever they come across him, he does do like this. The dada will just scatter all over the sky. Power will not come. <laughs> then the guy destroy everybody. He was not a giant man. A very smallish man by nature. But when the power is teared, anything can happen. They now say, it is useless to fight this man. The only way is to use a woman with a satanic wisdom to approach this man. Pam, wisdom. So when Solomon climbed the throne, he said, Father, the only way to find peace, Lord, I need wisdom. I want to believe Solomon extend hands of love to the 69 kings. Because he was a rich king, he sent Seeds to all the 69 nations and bless the kings and say, I'm a giant, don't try me. I want peace. I'm not begging you, but I want friendship. And that was all wisdom. 
Wisdom will make you so to your enemy in order to silence your enemy. Wisdom. He asked for wisdom. Do you know that other nation, the queen, is the queen of world, came to pay tribute to Solomon. And after seeing Solomon, he said, this wisdom is beyond human comprehension. Wisdom. Can I tell you about the wisdom? How can a man marry 700 wives, 300 concubines? And still stay alive. And now after everything became a preacher. And now say, vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. <laughs> it's a level of satanic wisdom that entered him. After the wisdom of God flooded him, the wisdom of the devil corrupted the wisdom of God. Wisdom. He never drew sword. He had rest on every side. May you have rest. Oh, I'm praying for somebody here. Some of you, you will not sit down at home. Everything you have ever fought for will come to look for you. Number two. How to secure divine wisdom. Another one is sacrifice. Remember before God gave him wisdom, what he asked for was what? He sacrificed 1,000 cut. That's strong. If it is in our days, you should calculate what that will be. He laid them, slaughtered them, slaughtered them. Slaughter them. If one Malu is 300,000, then times it times 1,000. He slaughtered them. Blood was rushing out. Then God came down. The only way to pull God from the throne without asking him is sacrifice. The reason why occultic people are taken everywhere is because they know how to give than we believers. We don't know how to lay on the altar. That's why people ask me, why are you giving? What brought me to this level I am? It's not prayer. I'm a good prayer warrior. I told you, there's no real care I didn't go to. There's no kind of CAC prayer I've not prayed in my life. No kind. The one you pray and you are, you are almost tearing the ground like, like you are an eagle. The one you pray, you, your head is just the only one shaking. Baba, shake, hey, baba, shake, hey, baba, shake. No manner of prayer I've not prayed. The one you pray, you bend your leg and I no kind of prayer. White prayer, wet, fasting, biri biri. No one have not taken. The one I take when I come and you look at me and say, Is this man see? The one that you take your eye will go inside. You don't understand. No kind. No kind. All I got was spiritual blessings. My anointing grew, but that does not change the physical circumstance. The only thing that can pull it down is sacrifice and principles. It is not everybody that can give. Let me tell you the truth. When winches want to be powerful, all they need to do is to supply more blood to their blood bank. Once there's more blood, they promote you. The greatest and Solomon makes sacrifice and blood was coming out. Anything you use your sweat to do, whenever you lay money on the altar, God does not see the money. He see the blood that work for the money. You don't understand. You don't understand. You bought a car. You are sowing the car. God doesn't look at the car. He look at the blood that labored to buy the car, that brought the car. Sacrifice. It moves God. Winches know how to do it. A king was under attack, the king of the Moabites. There was a great battle against this king. The Israelites were fighting this king. Do you know what he did? He just carried his first ball. He sacrificed to his own God, not to God. Killed the, the son. And when God saw that sacrifice, God withdrew and told his children, look, you go to this battlefield, you are on your own. Because this is altar for altar. I respect this in the realm of the spirit. The highest bidder of sacrifice take the bid in the realm of the spirit. That's the secret. 
Secret. Secret. When we give people, say, hey, they are giving, hey, they are giving because they are collecting stars. It's a stupidious way of talking. A man is already a star. Which star is he looking for? Which star? Somebody God has blessed and changed his life. You are talking about star. You have not bought bicycle and it will collect your star. There are some star you dash us, we do back to sender by fire. Look for cockroach and give. And when you do you know that when you are around the star and you identify with the star, the star reflects and light up your star because deep collect to deep. Deep collect to deep. Somebody was sharing with us ever since you sold to my life. People are just blessing me on every side. I said, they must bless you now. Do you not know what it means for an anointed man to give you something? It's lighting up your life. Lighting up your life. How do you know your star? How do you know you have a star? See, the man of God gave you something. You could not feed yourself. The thing entered your hand. You bought a land. He entered your hand. Your life changed. You need to use your brain. There are some people we need to take to spiritual emergency center in heaven so that the spiritual surgeons can check their brain. Sacrifice. Me, I don't, I don't talk too much. When there is a serious battle, I just take one seat. I plant it, bam, and go and sleep. That's all. I send my seed on message. I went somewhere along the place before my birthday, distribute money to beggars everywhere. I just, what kind of man is this? When beggars are having 50,000 fuel, this one hundred, this one, I'll just distribute and I left. I was sleeping that night, the Lord showed me the prayers of the beggars, what he did for me and the kind of battle he fought for me. I said, thank you, Lord. There are battles you can't fight, that seed can fight for you. Battles. I imagine a beggar who is collecting five naira, collected hundred naira, hundred thousand and go to sleep in the night. Even though he doesn't know the man. He will begin to make prayers. The woman prepared herself when we were in the other place with witchcraft attires just to come and paralyze me by handshake. She came and the Lord said, take two hundred thousand and bless her. I took the two hundred thousand rather than her hand touching my hand, her hand touched my seat. And that was all. She came outside, fell down, bra. They brought her in. He started confessing. I we talk, I we talk. They sent me to kill you. Battles. I've been called. I've been called physically on my phone. They called me and said, I said, what are you saying? We are the people. I said, which people? Say, Awani. I said, ah, who are you? What is Awani? Say, we are these people you are losing. We are tired of you losing them. We are giving you seven days. If you, if you don't stop losing them, that and that will happen to your enemy. I smiled. I never prayed about it. I just took seat, bam, and that was all. I went to sleep. Battles. Rest. I'm talking about the battle left spirit realm to physical realm. They picked phone to call me. I, they picked phone to call me. From spirit realm to physical Doing all manner of incantation. I heard the incantation and I laughed. And that is all. I never lost my sleep. For what? I didn't borrow power from any wind coven, from any wind council. So no wind can kill me. This power is from above. So nobody can stop he that is from above. Am I talking? I'm talking about there is I am a brutal giver. You see, what I do in my secret is higher than what I do physically. If I tell you the way I scatter seed, sometimes you, you think it's a mental case. I've discovered that the way to increase your spiritual velocity is to increase your speed of giving. Can I tell you this? There is a way you give power come on you. You don't understand. There is the only way to obtain spiritual power is to sow to spiritual authority. You don't get that. Impartation is not, that's why I tell, when I see pastors asking for power, they don't know how to connect. I took seed, 
dangerous it's scattered to 21 men of God. All over. Pa, pa. I don't care to know who they, where they come from. Took their account number. I don't want them to see me physically. Let them just have the seeds. And I withdraw to my closet. And I prayed. There's a way you can tap from a man of God without taking permission from him. You don't get it. Even though the man of God is greedy, embarrass him with a seed and leave him. Let him not pray for you. God will just carry from him and give to you. Sacrifice. You can see, I have been giving and giving and giving. And I have never lacked one thing. I empty my garage. In less than two weeks, the garage was covered back. When I mean covered back, I didn't raise it. People just came from Port Harcourt. This is a Prado Jeep from this one. This, this. I'm sent by God to give you. They drop it and they go. This one came. Give. Said, God said, I should give you. This one came. Came. Give. And I just smile. It's a principle. You don't receive because you are stingy. You don't receive because you are stingy. In less than two weeks. I'm telling you, when the, when the intention is genuine, the God who calls will give you resolve. You are too greedy. My unbelievers are sacrificing seven virgins. To be on the throne, a believer can't give even, even a common one million you can't give. Then you want resort. This thing just don't happen like that. What have you done in the house of God? That whenever prayers is made, God can look at that thing and say, because of this thing, I will do this for you. Sacrifice. This thing is not all about prayer. You know, I'm not teaching to raise it. Mm, I'm just teaching you. That's it. I'm teaching you what some people have asked. Some, some people have gone to investigate what is the secret of his wealth. What is the secret of his wealth? I said, take my tape. You will see the secret of my wealth. 250 naira. A church of nine years. Less than a dollar now. That's what I used to start this church. Nine years ago, I came with my traveling bag. And my pregnant wife clamp on and the God of heaven fought for me I pray for you may heaven open up for you I'm talking about sacri sacrifice that can that can tear your enemies down there is a way you give sacrifice your enemy keep quiet Keep quiet. I was driving. No, I drive myself. Going to my hometown one time. The Lord just told me, stop. Those beggars there, go and sow seed for them. And I packed. And I took money. And I was sowing. And a vehicle that passed me behind. Collide with another trailer. Simply means... That would have happened to me. But God wanted to avert it. I know that we always listen. I don't ask God, eh, what did you say? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't do that. How will I be asking God, what did you do that? He is asking me to so I'm asking, questioning him for what? I was poor. I didn't have, I didn't have anything. I was using my leg at this bench. I never knew I would get to this height. So why will, what will I have? I cannot release to God. Why? When I was praying to be a preacher, I was not praying to be rich. I was just praying to have a church where I can preach to people. That was all. If God had gone beyond and gave me bonanza, what will I be doing with the bonanza? I will bonanza it out. You, will, you, you just need to know my school of thought. You will, some people think there's something behind it. My school of thought just knows there's nothing I ever have that is my own. That's it. I can give anything without looking back. Not for show up. Not for anything. Because it's a way of life now. A way of life now. I get a 
excited when somebody smiled. Somebody met me and said, why did you give me this thing? I'm afraid you'll come and collect it back. And I laughed. I laughed. Because there is a level you get to when you are an ardent giver. God is not afraid to entrust money in your hand. Are you ready? Are you ready? Somebody in, in a sensitive position said, hey, come, come, come to my office to come and collect tithe. Me. I said, go to your office to collect tithe. Am I hungry? If you can't come to give God, keep your tithe. Keep your tithe. And be number one of a state, but God, God forbid, me, go to your office. I will go and sit down. They will now say, a man of God came to collect tithe at my level. God forbid. If I want to visit you, I visit you, we pray. But when it becomes issue of money, God forbid. It's when a man of God is hungry that he does that. If you want to pay tithe, you should come to the house of God. I've never seen where Levite leave their temple to go and collect tithe. It's an insult on the personality of a man of God. You are going to collect tight. In Ghana must go. That's not tight. It's political fee. When I talk, people say, hey, it's arrogant. No, I can be arrogant with my integrity when it comes to righteousness. You want to pay tight? You come to God. You are not paying to man of God. You are saying to God. If you honor God, why do you, how do you command God to come to your office to come and collect tight? Hmm. Come on, shut fire. Shut fire. Shut fire. Oh, shut fire. Shut fire. We're in the country, and he said the number one citizen wanted to see me. And my peer knows. I said, no, no, no. When we finish our crusade, we finish our crusade. I came here for spiritual activities. If this crusade is not finished, I'm going nowhere. I will have to finish the crusade. I came for souls. I came for souls. Souls. There is a level you get to where you become passionate about God. Every other thing follow you. There are people pursuing money and money is running. And there are people pursuing God. Money is pursuing them. <laughs> we were in one crusade in one nation. Pierre knows what I was talking about. People lined up to bless my life. And I became very angry. I said, I want to go in for ministry. For the, is it the afternoon ministry? There were so many. And I said, no, 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 it's okay. When I stood up, they started crying. I'm talking about people giving on their own volition. The man of God said, no, keep your seat, they are crying. There is a point you get to where you become the lover of God. I'm in the aircraft business class. Somebody will come and tap me. Man of God. So into 200, I mean $2,000 to me. And say, take, take. I said, for God. even in sleep, money will wake you up. So come. Even, even in aeroplane, service is not going on. I am not a preacher, but somebody sees me sowing to me. I have... I have seen that more than 15 times in aircraft. They will just take seat. Brr. My man of God, please, please, please. Can you just touch it? I look at the person. Oh God. I want people, you want today again. I say, these people don't come. Inside plane, I'm supposed to rest again. I'm a very shy type when you see me outside. I don't like, I don't like, no, I don't like somebody's identifying me that this is a man. That's why I keep my head down when I'm going very straight. Quick, quick. I'm very serious. Not that I'm very, no, very, I just want to pass. Look, take, 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 take. Just say a word. Then I say a word. Ah! Yes, scream. I just keep the money, so I let her, I say, this 2,000. In a plane. No service is going on. No tithe and offering. But God can bring somebody to bless you. That's when I was going. The person said, where do you want to stay? I smiled. I said, why are you asking me? He said, I want to foot the bill. When you become a giver to God, God can use fish, can use babu, can use monkey to bless you. Anybody. I've told you an allergy came. Wrote it. I don't like your face. 
And I said, can I pray for you? He said, I don't need your prayer. I don't think you have trouble me in the dream. Take. And he left my house. Very money in six figure. A Muslim blessing you in anger. When you are an ardent giver of God, blessing comes from nowhere. Can I pray for you? In less than 48 hours, receive the blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, if Solomon enter rest, may you enter rest. If Solomon enter rest, may you enter rest. Rest on your health. Rest in your health. Rest academically. Rest from the place of work. Rest in ministry. Rest on every side. I'm looking at you. Rest. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Rest on every side. In the morning, rest. In the afternoon, rest. Don't you see David, my father? He could not build a synagogue for the Lord. He said, but the Lord has given me rest on every side. In the morning, rest. In the afternoon, rest. In the night, rest. In my sleep, rest. When I'm driving, rest. At the place of work, rest. Financial rest. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a living God. When he says he will give you rest, he's gonna give you rest. On every side, I feel in my spirit. I feel like preaching here. When God lifts you up, no man, no man, no man can bring you down. This report shall we believe. We shall believe the report of the Lord. I prophesy. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion around, you were like men that dream, dream. I see somebody sweet rest. Rest from troubles. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of stronghold. I prophesy. Somebody here. Your story is changing. You are receiving rest. You are receiving rest from royal enemies. Rest from poverty. Rest from troubles. Rest from household enemies. Rest from sickness. Rest all about wherever you enter. I say rest. Wherever you enter. I say rest. Wherever you enter. I say rest. Somebody say rest. I say rest. Every enemy of your rest. Today I lay them to rest. Lift up your leg and shut. I say rest, rest, rest. What you can do, begin to do them. I can hear the sounds of abundance. I see money coming. I see position released. I see appointment later released. I see marital rest. Receive your wife. Receive your husband. Somebody shall fire. 